Hey, this is Max with Aura, and today we're talking about sneaky Venmo scams that you should be aware of. Did you know that peer-to-peer -peer payment apps like Venmo, Cash App, and Zelle have fraud rates three to four times higher than credit cards? According to the BBB, in 2021, victims of Venmo scams lost an average of $700, the second highest in losses of all payment services. Thankfully, you can protect yourself from Venmo scams by knowing what to look out for. So in this video, we'll review the most common Venmo scams, how they work, and how you can protect yourself. So what are Venmo scams? Venmo scams are schemes that trick Venmo users into sending scammers money or personal information, such as bank accounts or social security numbers. But why do scammers target Venmo users? First, Venmo transfers appear almost instantly, but aren't normally verified for a few days. This makes it harder for banks to catch scammers who are using stolen credit cards or bank accounts. If the real user files a credit card or fraud claim, the money sent to the scammer cannot be recovered. Second, Venmo is also more anonymous than other money transfer apps. Scammers can create fraudulent accounts or pose as legitimate users and request money. So can you get your money back after being scammed on Venmo? If you send money to a stranger or get scammed on Venmo, you're unlikely to get your money back. Unlike credit or debit cards that have fraud protection and chargeback systems in place, Venmo treats your money more like cash. In fact, you're more likely to recover stolen funds if you use a payment service like PayPal instead of Venmo. However, this doesn't mean that you're completely out of luck if you get scammed. If you send a Venmo transfer to an authorized business or mark a payment to a personal profile as a purchase, you may be covered by purchase protection. As with most online scams, prevention is always better than recovery. So what Venmo scams should you be on the lookout for? The first one, mistake money transfers. The mistake money transfer looks harmless on the surface. A scammer sends you money on Venmo, then sends you a message claiming that it was a mistake and then asks for a refund. What's really happening is that scammers sent you money with a stolen credit card. Then before you refund them, they update their Venmo account with their own banking details. When the real credit card owner reverses the charge, Venmo takes the money from your account as Venmo doesn't offer any built-in fraud protections. So to protect yourself, ignore any unexpected transfers, especially if the sender asks you to refund them. And don't reply to the scammers. Some targets have reported that the fraudulent transactions disappear on their own. And don't deposit mistaken transfers into your account, as you'll be responsible for that amount when the real victim reports the fraud. And if you're in doubt, contact Venmo and ask them to verify or possibly reverse the transaction. Fake friends requesting help. In this one, fraudsters change their profile picture and information to impersonate someone that you know. Then they message you requesting money for an urgent matter, such as paying for medical treatment, lawyer fees, or something else. Scammers can find out enough about you to convince you to send them money just by looking at your social media profiles, public Venmo transactions, and online footprint. If the tone or language of the message seems out of character for your friend, trust your intuition. And keep your Venmo privacy settings updated so that your transactions are private and not shared in the public feed. Scammers selling hard to find items. Finding hard to get items like popular gaming consoles or concert tickets can be frustrating. You might be tempted to buy directly from a stranger instead of buying from an official online store or retailer. But unfortunately, Venmo doesn't offer any type of fraud protection if these transactions go wrong, and scammers know that. In these Venmo scams, fraudsters post in-demand products on platforms like Facebook Marketplace. And when you reach out, they'll insist that you use Venmo to make a purchase so that way they don't have to pay a fee. But once you send them the money, the seller disappears along with the product that you thought you'd purchased. So here's how to protect yourself. Don't use Venmo for buying items from people online. And if you don't know them personally or can't meet up in person to receive the item, you could get scammed and only purchase from approved Venmo business accounts. These accounts will say eligible items covered by purchase protection under the pay button. Strangers asking to use your phone. In this scam, fraudsters will approach you in public and ask to use your phone for an emergency. They'll try calling someone and then claim the person that they're calling isn't picking up, so they ask to send a text from your phone. But instead, they open your Venmo account and send transfers to themselves. So here's how to protect yourself. Don't lend your phone to anyone you know, even children. Instead, offer to contact someone for them, such as the police, and lock your Venmo account with a PIN or Touch ID. This way, only you should be able to access your account on your phone. The next Venmo scam, fake emails and texts claiming to be from Venmo. In these phishing attacks, you're sent emails from scammers claiming to be from a legitimate business, including Venmo. The scammers replicate as many details of an actual Venmo email as they can, such as Venmo's colors, logo, and even a similar domain name. 
The email will request that you click on a link and then verify your personal information, which then the scammers can use for identity theft or fraud. So here's how to protect yourself. Don't click on links from emails or texts that claim to be from financial institutions or even Venmo as these are most likely scams. Next, contact the business that's being impersonated in the scam to inform them and then delete the email or text. And always check emails for signs of a phishing scam. The bottom line, you need to stay safe on Venmo. Venmo can be a convenient way of sending money to people that you know, but when you use it for other purposes like buying and selling items online, you put yourself at risk of scams. Protect yourself and your money from Venmo scammers by being vigilant, double checking every transfer, and never sending money to people that you don't know. And to keep your account and identity safe, sign up for Aura. You can get yourself a 14-day free trial at Aura.com. We'll see you next time.